Hi, my name is Matthew Haig. I was born and raised in Milford, Delaware, from my parents Scott and Sarah Haig, alongside my little brother Nathan. I grew up in the Milford School District where I played numerous sports, participated in the honors program, and I'm lucky enough to further continue my academic and athletic career at Dell Tech. When I'm not on the field or in the classroom, you can find me participating in a few of my other hobbies. Before I enrolled at Dell Tech, I completed my earlier years of schooling in the Milford School District. There, I was able to succeed academically and athletically. Academically, I completed honors courses in high school and middle school, seven AP courses in high school, and I was an honor roll student from elementary school all the way up through high school. Athletically, I was able to succeed in three different sports, football, lacrosse, and wrestling. In football, I was a part of the varsity team all four years. My freshman year, didn't play much, but we made the state championship game where we sadly lost to Del Mar. My sophomore and junior year, I was a varsity starter. We didn't have as much team success, but junior year brought one of my favorite memories where we upset Dover and I had a game ceiling two-point conversion catch. My senior year was an odd one with COVID where we lost some games to that and it, things got jumbled up because of that. I was lucky enough to be named the defensive player of the year though and was able to succeed in that way. My next sport that I participated in was wrestling. Wrestling, I took a break my freshman and senior year. My senior year, I did swim instead because my friends convinced me to, to join the team. My sophomore and junior year, I succeeded. My sophomore year, I had a 20 and seven record. And then my junior year, I had a 28 and seven record where I was also ranked fourth in the state. In my sophomore year as a team, we won our sixth consecutive state championship. And then as a junior, we moved up to division one where we lost in the state championship to Smyrna and ended our streak. In the spring is when uh, the lacrosse season comes around and lacrosse is probably my favorite out of all the sports I've ever played. In lacrosse, I was probably the most successful where I was all four years was a varsity starter, though I guess you can only say three because my junior season, we never played a game because that's when the COVID 19 outbreak really first came around and ended our season before we even played a game. My freshman and sophomore year, we were able to win the Henlopen South Conference and we made the playoffs. We didn't win either year, but it was one of the few times in the history of Milford that we made it. My senior year was when I had the most individual success for me, where I was able to enjoy a 45 point season with 28 goals, 19 goals, and I was named to the all-conference team. And because of that, I'm lucky enough to be able to continue my lacrosse career at Dell Tech on scholarship. At Dell Tech, my first, this year was my freshman year and we were able to go 10 and four and win the region 19 championship, which was the first time ever in program history, I'm pretty sure is what it was. At Dell Tech, I am majoring in the middle level math education where basically it's to be a middle level, <laughs> sorry, not middle level, to be a math education educator in middle school. <clears throat> uh, I decided on this major because of my background in volunteering a lot in schools with helping teachers out and coaching my little brother on his wrestling and lacrosse teams. Just recently, I was actually able to help coach his eighth uh, middle school where he was an eighth grader to an undefeated season. And when I'm not busy with school, lacrosse, or coaching, you can find me a lot of the time at one of the major, many beaches we have in here in Delaware, where because I, I spent a lot of my youth in Lewis with my mom, where she worked, going to the beaches and the state park or visiting my grandparents down there. And if I'm not at the beach, you can probably find me looking for my next Lego purchase. It, it's a pretty expensive hobby, but I've grown addicted to building them. Well, now that you know that a little bit about me and I'm really looking forward to this class and hopefully it'll help me learn to help possibly be a teacher and maybe a coach and help grow the next generation. Thank you.